Life has come to a standstill for many on the streets of Caracas, Venezuela. After decades of corruption, economic pain and violence, the pandemic's now robbing many here of even a minimal income, intensifying one of Venezuela's most pronounced ailments, extreme hunger. Celestina Rondon tells me she lost both her boys to gun violence 16 years ago, shot just a few streets away from her home. There was so much war, they killed without mercy, she says. Today she's fighting a different battle, trying to make her $1 pension amid hyperinflation last the month. I eat bologna, rice and sausages, if there's any, she says. Today, there isn't much. She has, what, three sausages, a tiny bit of rice up here, frozen water. Um, and then if I open here, she's got plantain and leftovers that are now swarming flies. Water, too, is in short supply here a result of Venezuela's deteriorating infrastructure after decades of mismanagement under presidents Hugo Chávez and Nicolas Maduro. The little that does flow out, she uses to fill these up. Avoiding COVID-19 is the last thing on her mind. When there's water, we store it so it lasts. And when there's money, we buy bottled water, she says. Down the road, I meet 80-year-old Francisca de Sapia who behind her smile hides a world of pain. She tells me she has no fridge, broken as a result of blackouts that have plagued the country, more frequently over the last few years. She shares this house with her two sons, and here resignation adorns its every corner. A report last year found that 96% of Venezuelans are living in poverty. Nowhere is that more evident than Petare, Venezuela's biggest slum. Here, children quietly line up for their only meal of the day. Run by NGO Alimenta Petare, this soup kitchen alone feeds 80 children. Volunteer Yelitsa Rodriguez, a mother herself, can't quite believe how bad it has gotten. We have lots of vulnerable families, she says, many of whom don't even have breakfast. With hunger comes malnutrition. And in Venezuela, there are 639,000 malnourished children under five years of age, according to a national survey. So it's no surprise to this NGO worker who prefers to remain anonymous for fear of government reprisals, that so many are knocking on their door. We were feeding 14,000 children, and now since the pandemic, she says, we have 25,000 children. Prominent Venezuelan nutritionist and activist Susana Rafali says what Venezuela is witnessing is a crisis of grave proportions. Do you think Venezuela will end up having a lost generation or even two lost generations here? Yo no quisiera tener que decirlo, pero sí. Yo estimo que son dos generaciones. Entonces, hemos visto un aumento desmesurado de la prostitución, del, del sexo transaccional por comida. Hemos visto un aumento desmesurado del trabajo infantil pagado por, por comida. Back at the slums, I feel this weight being carried with all I speak to, including this healthcare worker, who now also has to worry about water. Everything is bad, she says. I have my mum bedridden and I have to have water. Exhausted, she's struggling to make ends meet amid a backdrop of hyperinflation, where even her job has lost its value. How much do you earn a month? ¿Cuánto ganas al mes? Dos dólares, two dollars. Her mother, who she looks after, her pension is one dollar. So this family right here, three dollars per month. Overburdened with life, I ask her if it's all taking a toll. Te cuesta. Es duro, es duro lo que uno está viviendo. Everything we're living through is so tough, she says. It makes me not want to live at all. Heartbreaking words that will no doubt resonate with many here. A country where poverty and hunger are now eating away at Venezuela's soul. Isis Suarez, CNN, Caracas, Venezuela.